The Japanese occupation of Singapore in World War II took place from 1942 to 1945, following the fall of the British colony on 15 February 1942. Military forces of the Empire of Japan occupied it after defeating the combined British, Indian, Australian, and Malayan garrison in the Battle of Singapore. The occupation was to become a major turning point in the histories of several nations, including those of Japan, Britain, and the then colonial state of Singapore. Singapore was renamed Sionan to, Jiao Nan Dao Shonan to, meaning, Light of the South Island. Singapore was officially returned to British colonial rule on 12 September 1945, following the formal signing of the surrender instrument at the municipal building. <laughs> <laughs> Events leading to the occupation The Japanese captured all of Malaya during the Malayan campaign in a little more than two months. The garrison defending Singapore surrendered on 15 February 1942, only a week after the invasion of the island commenced. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill called the fall of Singapore, "...the worst disaster and largest capitulation in British history". <laughs> Life during the occupation Topic. Time of terror The Kempatai, the Japanese military secret police, committed numerous atrocities towards the common people. They introduced the system of Suk Ching, which means purge through purification, in Chinese, to get rid of those deemed to be anti Japanese. The Suk Ching massacre claimed the lives of between 25,000 and 50,000 ethnic Chinese in Singapore and Malaya. These men were rounded up and taken to deserted spots around the island and killed systematically. Moreover, the Kempatai established a network of informants around the island to help them identify anti-Japanese. These informers were well paid by the Kempatai and had no fear of being arrested. Japanese soldiers patrolled the streets and commoners had to bow to them when they passed by. Those who failed to do so would be slapped, punished, beaten and some people would even be taken away. Other changes made while Singapore was Sionan to To discourage Western influence, the Japanese set up schools and forced people to learn their language Japanese. Textbooks were printed in Japanese. Every morning, children had to stand facing the direction of Japan and sing the Japanese national anthem, Kimigeo. Topic. Scarcity of basic needs Resources were scarce during the occupation. The prices of basic necessities increased drastically due to hyperinflation. For example, the price of rice increased from $5 per 100 caddies about 60 grams or 0.13 pounds to $5,000 by the end of the occupation. The Japanese issued ration cards, also known as peace living certificates, to limit the amount of resources received by the civilian population. Adults could purchase 5 kilograms 11 pounds of rice per month and 2 kilograms 4.4 pounds for children. The amount of rice for adults was reduced by 25% as the war progressed. The Japanese issued banana money as their main currency since straits currency became rare. They instituted elements of a command economy in which there were restrictions on the demand and supply of resources, thus creating a popular black market. The banana currency started to suffer from high inflation and dropped drastically in value because the authorities would simply print more whenever they needed it, consequently the black market often used straits currency. Food quality and availability decreased greatly. Sweet potatoes and yams became the staple food of most diets of Singaporeans because they were considerably cheaper than rice and could also be grown in gardens. They were then turned into a variety of dishes, as both dessert and all were used in all three meals of the day. The nutrients helped to fend starvation off. New ways of consuming tapioca with other products were regularly invented to stave off the monotony. Both of the British and Japanese authorities encouraged the population to grow their own food even if they had the smallest amount of land. The encouragement and producers were similar to what occurred with Victory Gardens in the Western nations during World War II. Ipomoea aquatica, which grew relatively easy and flourished relatively well near the water and became a popular crop just as it did to the other vegetables topic education 
After taking Singapore, the Japanese established the Shonen Japanese School, Jiao Nan Ri Ben Shui Yuan Shonen Nihon Gakuen, to educate Malays, Chinese, Indians, and Eurasians in the Japanese language. Fei Yuan Kleeman, the author of Under an Imperial Sun, Japanese colonial literature of Taiwan and the South wrote that it was the most successful of such schools in Southeast Asia. During the occupation, the Japanese had also opened the Shonen First People's School. Allied attacks Singapore was the target of various operations masterminded by Allied forces to disrupt Japanese military activities. On 26 September 1943, an Allied commando unit known as Z-Force led by Major Ivan Leone infiltrated Singapore Harbour and sank or damaged seven Japanese ships comprising over 39,000 long tons, 40, metric tons. Leon led another operation, codenamed Rimao, with the same objective almost a year later and sank three ships. Leon and 13 of his men were killed fighting the Japanese. The other 10 men who participated in the operation were captured, charged with espionage in a kangaroo court and subsequently executed. Lim Bo Seng of Force 136 led another operation, codenamed Gustavus. He recruited and trained hundreds of secret agents through intensive military intelligence missions from China and India. He set up the Sino British Guerrilla Task Force Force 136 in 1942 with Captain John Davis of the Special Operations Executive. SOE. Operation Gustavus was aimed at establishing an espionage network in Malaya and Singapore to gather intelligence about Japanese activities, and thereby aid the British in Operation Zipper, the code name for their plan to take back Singapore from the Japanese. Force 136 was eventually disbanded after the war. In August 1945, two midget submarines of the Royal Navy took part in Operation Struggle, a plan to infiltrate Singapore Harbour and sabotage the Japanese cruisers Takao and Myoko using limpet mines. They inflicted heavy damage on Takao, earning Lt. Ian Edward Fraser the Victoria Cross. From November 1944 to May 1945, Singapore was subjected to air raids by British and American long-range bomber units. Naval facilities and docks in Singapore were also bombed on 11 occasions by American air units between November 1944 and May 1945. These attacks caused some damage to their targets but also killed a number of civilians. Most Singaporeans, however, welcomed the raids as they were seen as heralding Singapore's liberation from Japanese rule. <laughs> End of the occupation On August 6, 1945, the United States detonated an atomic bomb over the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Sixteen hours later, American President Harry S. Truman called again for Japan's surrender, warning them to "...expect a rain of ruin from the air, the like of which has never been seen on this earth." August 8, 1945, the Soviet Union declared war on and on August 9, 1945, the Soviet Union invaded the Imperial Japanese puppet state of Manchukuo. Later in the day, the United States dropped a second atomic bomb, this time on the Japanese city of Nagasaki. Following these events, Emperor Hirohito intervened and ordered the Supreme Council for the direction of the war to accept the terms the Allies had set down in the Potsdam Declaration for ending the war. After several more days of behind-the-scenes negotiations and a failed coup d'état, Emperor Hirohito gave a recorded radio address across the empire on August 15. In the radio address, called the Jewel Voice Broadcast he announced the surrender of Japan to the Allies. The surrender ceremony was held on September 2, aboard the United States Navy battleship USS Missouri, at which officials from the Japanese government signed the Japanese instrument of surrender, thereby ending the hostilities. On September 12, 1945 a surrender instrument was signed at the municipal building. This was followed by a celebration at the Padang, which included a victory parade. Lord Louis Mountbatten, Supreme Allied Commander of Southeast Asia Command, came to Singapore to receive the formal surrender of the Japanese forces in the region from General Seishiro Itaaki on behalf of General Hisaichi Terachi. A British military administration used surrendered Japanese troops as security forces was formed to govern the island until March 1946. After the Japanese surrendered, there was a state of anime in Singapore, as the British had not yet arrived to take control. 
The Japanese occupiers had a considerably weakened hold over the populace. There were widespread incidents of looting and revenge killing. Much of the infrastructure had been wrecked, including the harbor facilities and electricity, water supply and telephone services. It took four or five years for the economy to return to pre-war levels. When British troops finally arrived they were met with cheering and fanfare. Banana money became worthless after the occupation ended. Topic. Memorials To keep alive the memory of the Japanese occupation and its lessons learned for future generations, the Singapore government erected several memorials with some at the former massacre sites. Topic. Civilian War Memorial Spearheaded and managed by the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Civilian War Memorial is located in the War Memorial Park at Beach Road. Comprising four white concrete columns, this 61 metres tall memorial commemorates the civilian dead of all races. It was built after thousands of remains were discovered all over Singapore during the urban redevelopment boom in the early 1960s. The memorial was officially unveiled by Singapore's first Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew on the 25th anniversary of the start of the Japanese occupation in 1967. It was constructed with part of the $50 million blood debt compensation paid by the Japanese government in October 1966. Speaking at the unveiling ceremony, Lee said, We meet to remember the men and women who were the hapless victims of one of the fires of history. If today we remember these lessons of the past, we strengthen our resolve and determination to make our future more secure than these men and women for whom we mourn would not have died in vain. On 15 February every year, memorial services open to the public are held at the memorial. <laughs> Suk Ching Center Monument The site of this monument lies within the compound of Hong Lim Complex in Chinatown. The inscription on the monument reads <laughs> Chani Beach Massacre Monument The site of this monument is located in Chani Beach Park near Camp Site 2 in the eastern part of Singapore. The inscription on the monument reads <laughs> Pungol Beach Massacre Monument The site of this monument is located off Pungol Road in northeastern Singapore. The inscription on the monument reads Topic. Popular culture The Japanese occupation of Singapore has been depicted in media and popular culture, including films, television series and books. Topic. Film Lieutenant Adnan 2000, a Malaysian film set in the Battle of Singapore Topic. Television series Early episodes of Tenko, a BBC, ABC production. The Heroes 1988, an Australian-British co-production. Heroes 2, The Return 1991, an Australian miniseries. The Last Rhythm 1996, a Chinese language series produced by the Television Corporation of Singapore TCS. The Price of Peace 1997, produced by the TCS. A War Diary 2001, produced by Mediacorp. In Pursuit of Peace 2001, produced by Mediacorp. Chani 2001, produced by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. The Journey, Tumultuous Times 2014, produced by Mediacorp. Topic. List of monuments and historical sites Civilian War Memorial Kranji War Memorial and Cemetery Chani Chapel and Museum YMCA on Orchard Road Alexandra Hospital Grounds Old Ford Motor Factory Topic. See also History of Singapore Japanese occupation of Malaya Japanese occupation of British Borneo 
Japanese occupation of Hong Kong Bombing of Singapore 1944-1945 List of years in Singapore Topic References Topic External links Fall of Malaya and Singapore, a detailed history of the Battle of Singapore.